Hi everyone, I'm back from our little vacay in the Big Apple, New York City. We had a great time, just a relaxing time with a, with a little fam bam and did some sightseeing and just took in all the fun things. And then for the last two days of our vacation, we went off to Boston and stayed with some friends that we, believe it or not, we met back in 2009, I think, when we were visiting St. Martin. They were visiting on vacation, we were visiting on vacation, and we developed a friendship that has continued. They've been out here a couple times, we've been out there to Boston a couple of times. So it's kind of cool. It's very unusual, I think, to make friends while on a vacation and retain that friendship. So very thankful for it. They're wonderful people. So we had a blast with them at the end of our vacation and now we're back here, back at home. And you may be wondering, because I was wondering what was going to happen on the potential job front, because that's when I last left you with uh, my last video was that I had an interview pending. And sure enough, as soon as I got home from vacation, and I don't know about you guys, but when I'm on vacation, I'm in a whole different mindset and I get a little more relaxed with myself and I'll go into that a little bit later. But when I'm on vacation, I have to do a complete shift to get back into normal mode, especially normal mode when it comes to an interview. So first thing on Monday morning, I had an interview and we didn't get home until late afternoon on, um, I mean, first thing on Tuesday morning. <laughs> I keep getting those days mixed up because of the Memorial Day holiday. So first thing on Tuesday morning, I had an interview, didn't get home till late on Monday afternoon. So that was kind of a whirlwind. And you guys, I have not had a job interview, been the recipient of a job interview for over 20 years. I've given interviews and hired people, but I haven't tried to get a job or had an interview in over 20 years. That's a long time. So. I went into this interview and it turned out it was a panel interview. There were two people on site and there was one person that was conferencing in from the UK. And I'm telling you, it was seriously grueling. And I thought I was prepared and you know, you think, okay, I know all of the answers and I have the experience and the skills and everything that they're looking for. This is a perfect fit. Like I told you on my last video, everything just seems so unbelievably perfect. But then I go into the interview and oh my goodness, I found myself, I, I felt like I was, was talking in circles on a couple of the questions, but then there were many other questions where I just nailed it and I'm like, yeah. <laughs> but there were definitely some where it left me feeling like, oh my goodness, I hope I articulated that correctly and I hope I presented myself in, in a way that they would be compelled to hire me. It was supposed to be an hour. It went an hour and a half, so that was a positive sign and I was very encouraged by that and the recruiter had said that that was a positive sign as well. So. That was Tuesday morning. And they said that I may have an answer by, by Tuesday afternoon and nothing, 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 nothing. And so I started getting a little bit worried and having kind of a, uh, a little bit of an attitude, you know, cause I'm human and I wanted it to just happen and have them make a decision right then, right? And they didn't. And so then I also had to write thank you letters. And I'd written a thank you letter already for the phone interview that I had with the hiring manager. But then for the panel interview, I had to write three separate thank you letters for them. And they all have to be unique and creative. And I'm telling you what, that evening when I was having to write those thank you letters, I was, I was having a kind of an attitude. It's so funny. I just surprised myself because you would think I would be like, okay, I want this job and I'm going to write these thank you letters. But I just was having a little latitude. But regardless, I got the letters done and I submitted them. And by Wednesday early afternoon, I got the phone call. Yes, I got the job, you guys. I got the job. Ah! I am so excited. I'm so excited. Sorry little moment of excitement on this video but you guys it's so cool because I worked at my prior company for 20 years just short of 20 years 
And then, you know, so I haven't looked for a job. I haven't, I haven't tried to find a job. And after I left, you know, that role after 20 years, and it was very sad because I loved, I loved it so much, then try to launch my own business and find out that maybe that's not what I really want to do. It's not, you know, it's not exactly what I thought it was going to wind up being. And, that, and I'm fine with that. I'm so thankful that I tried my own company. And I will continue with my own company and be able to provide services through that as time permits. So I went right from 20 years of employment into my own company. And then now, you know, here I am trying to get a job and it's kind of foreign to me. And to be able to land the first job that I actually apply for is just beyond thankful and it's beyond a blessing and I just I think I thank God above and I thank all of you who were praying for me I really really appreciate it and here we go here we go I am I'm ready so I have all these topics I want to talk about I can see the clock's already running so much so I my first day on the job is going to be Tuesday but I'm going to be doing it remotely from Ohio and, and just supporting a conference call and doing it remotely and so glad that they're accommodating it but the reason why I'm not going to be uh, here in SoCal is because and why I'm in Ohio is because I'm surprising my mama again you guys I'm so excited to do this I surprised her back in 2016 after I got laid off and I went and I pretended to be a waitress you can see that in one of my videos I'll see if I can link that video in because it's just was such a special special moment not ever will be able to repeat that kind of a surprise it, for those of you who haven't seen it please you've got to go see it it was it, it, it's a tearjerker. It was so amazing. So I am going to surprise her again, but this time I'm not going to pretend to be a waitress. I'm just going to show up uh, for her surprise 80th birthday. And she definitely doesn't think I'm coming. She won she hoped and thought maybe I'd come. But since I just had a vacation in New York City, there's no way in her mind that Debbie's gonna come out to Ohio and visit after she just did a vacation in New York City. So it's perfect I'll see if I can videotape some of that so that would be my first day on the job is that Tuesday while I'm out there in Ohio another thing I wanted to talk about is that I had a non-scale victory I think you will be very proud of me I was very proud of myself so I am aware I weigh all the time I, I weigh almost every morning I just do I weigh almost every morning and then I do weigh in the afternoon also because that's when I do my body fat percentages in the afternoon. So I weigh twice a day. I, I completely disregard the weight in the afternoon though, you know, because you've had water and you've had food, forget about it. But that's the best time to do body fat percentage. So while I was on vacation, I had had kind of hinted to the fact that I was a little more relaxed and yes, indeed, I was relaxed. Not with regard to following my ketogenic lifestyle, I was really on point with that, with the exception of one day. But I was really, really on point with that. I did not have any New York pizza. Oh my gosh, and I wanted it so bad, but my the fam bam had New York pizza, I didn't. I did bring my keto treats and that was so good. It, it saved me because they were eating ice cream every night and they were having pizza and stuff like that. So I could go back to the apartment and have my keto treats. So that worked out really well. The one thing that I did relax on is alcohol. I did have wine and I had a clear alcohol, clear light rum with Diet Coke. So that those are the only two things I had was wine and clear liquor with Diet Coke. But I was really, really moderate. No more than two drinks on any given day. Really, really very, very good about it. And I felt proud of myself for that too. Because you're on vacation, you're kind of like you can be real freewheeling but I wasn't with the exception of one day and that one day was when we were with our friends from Boston and it was a big house party and you know how house parties can go you guys ah so I drank a little more than I should have and I also for the first time since I've been on keto I had some 
some little bread. They were like they were like little little crackers, small, and it was for dipping in this artichoke dip because I had my friend slice up some cucumbers. I was really intending to be good. I had her slice up some cucumbers for me and I was gonna dip those in the artichoke dip. But you know what? It just wasn't working. The the dip kept falling off. I had to have it on my plate. It was like and so finally I decided, you know what, I'm gonna dip a couple of the the breads, the little crackers in them. So I probably had maybe five of those. <laughs> so I don't I don't feel bad about that, but you know, but I did kind of break my little keto rule. But that's okay, because we're human, right? And I was on vacation. Anyway, the back to the non-scale victory. So when I came back on Monday afternoon, I mean I was feeling I was feeling a little bloaty. I just felt a little vacation-y, a little return from vacation-y. So I wasn't feeling my complete self, but I decided to not weigh. And that was big for me. I decided no, no scale whatsoever. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try on my clothes. And I did, I tried on one in my closet, I tried on my business clothes, the outfit that I intended to wear to the interview, and you know what? It fit perfectly, perfect. And I took the measuring tape and I measured, and my measurements were the same. So even with that, I still did not get on the scale because the scale might have said something different and might have thrown me off. But with not stepping on the scale and relying on how my body felt, which it was feeling good, and um, how my clothes fit, it's like perfect. So that's a, that's a big victory for me is not to rely on the number on the scale because I sometimes can get caught up in that and I know a lot of us can. So that was cool. And I, I went in for my interview wearing the outfit I intended to wear and just feeling good, looking sharp. So non-scale victory. And what else? I actually wrote things down, you guys. Ugh. What did I, okay. I talked about the interview. I talked about the non-scale victory. I talked about the vacay. And one other thing I wanna talk about is HCG Chica. I, I know some of my subscribers are new and oh and by the way thank you for all of you subscribers. I am super excited. The numbers are growing and going and thank you so much for watching my videos. It means it means the world to me and I really appreciate it. So definitely continue to let me know what you'd like to see from me. I'm wide open to suggestions for content. John I got your suggestions for content and I am going to do probably the majority of what you requested. So thank you so much, John. Anyway, before this gets too long, it's already too long. I just have so much to say. HCG Chica is, is a, a huge person in the HCG community, which is how I started my channel and a real favorite form of weight loss for me um, in, in years I've used it. And if you go back to my old videos, you can, you can see that. And those of you from the HCG community, you all know how fan fantastic it is and how I feel about it, despite its controversial uh, nature. But HCG Chica did an interview with me and it just launched yesterday. So it gives you just a little bit more detail about me and how I feel about HCG and especially on the P3 program. So if any of you are interested in HCG and more of my story with regard to HCG and my, my weight journey, I'll put the link either here or below and you can go ahead and access that and, and see it. It was a really fun interview. She's super super cool i just i i love her she's a fun girl so i think i have covered everything and this is going way too long i can see as the the clock is ticking right here so i'm gonna go ahead and cut this off and say goodbye for right now i'm gonna try to do videos more frequently but now that i'm gonna be working Oh my gosh, maybe I won't have time on, you know, what this is a middle of the day in the middle of the week and I won't be doing that once I start working, but I'll find time. I'll find time to do videos because I, I love all you guys and I love doing these videos. I think it's really fun. So if you like my stuff, definitely uh, press like and subscribe and all that good stuff and I'll keep bringing, I'll keep bringing some fun content to you. Okay, you all have a blessed day and we'll talk later. Bye-bye.